All righty, Psalms Under Fire fans, welcome to the cocktail competition featuring Pisco Porton Mosto Verde. My name is Eric Crane, sommelier based out of Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm here to make a cocktail for you based on my favorite band, The Grateful Dead. I'm an old school deadhead, used to travel around the country near and far to see them. So I'm making a cocktail called the Sugar Magnolia, my favorite way to end any show, much in the same way that I enjoy ending every day with a cocktail. So here we are, uh, we have agave. These are all available at your local Whole Foods. So I have half an ounce of agave. I also have one ounce of lemon juice. So that's gonna be uh, roughly about the juice of one lemon. So I've got one and a half ounces right there. I'm gonna take uh, my cocktail shaker, and in this case, my Lucky Dancy Bear cocktail shaker. I'm gonna fill that with fresh ice. Fresh ice every time for a cocktail. I'm gonna give this a slight stir. The agave is a little bit thick, and so mixing those up makes it easier to get all of those things out. When I build a cocktail, I always like to start with the cheapest ingredients first. That way, if I mess up, I'm not out a whole lot of money. So then I'm going to add an ounce and a half of the Pisco Porton. So this being the most expensive component of the cocktail. I love this Pisco, by the way. There's this nice kind of a licorice flavor that I get out of this. Uh, there's uh, this really, really intense fruit quality to it as well. Kind of a dried apple, dried pear. Really, really nice. So the lemon, I'm trying to enhance that tart flavor. The agave to kind of tone down that a little bit. My favorite part of Sugar Magnolia was the ending though. It's called a Sunshine Daydream. And so I want this cocktail to have a nice little color, sort of like a setting sun or maybe a rising sun, depending on uh, your mood for the day. And I'm going to uh, take this here, get this thing going, and then I'm going to shake it up. The bitters also work as an emulsifying agent and give a really, really nice play between the sweetness of the agave and the tartness of the lemon. And here we go, the sugar magnolia with that beautiful little sunset color there, kind of a peachy color. I think I might be referred to as orange sunshine by some and a twist of lemon and voila, the sunshine daydream. Let us sing in a walk in the morning sunshine.